Tips for doing your own vehicle inspection. Welcome to the Homer Guy channel where we empower car buyers with the knowledge to make smarter car buying decisions. I'm your host, Kevin Hunter, the Homer Guy. And sitting right across from me is the amazing Elizabeth, the Homer Gal. We know quite a few used car buyers are in our audience because we've been talking to many different members on our channel who are in the market for a used car. You will appreciate this today. I also want to quickly call attention to all of the amazing new resources we have on our website now, thehomeworkguy.com. If you haven't been there in a while, make sure you visit ASAP. Yes, and today we're diving headfirst into one of the most important aspects of the world of buying used cars. And this is something you can get started on yourself before you involve a mechanic. We're talking about a pre-purchase vehicle inspection. We've always believed in getting a used car inspected by a good mechanic, but because of all the vehicle inspections that we've been a part of, We've picked up a number of great tips on inspecting a car that you can use yourself, even if you're not mechanically inclined. For these reasons, I feel totally confident using an unfamiliar mechanic and repair shop to do a vehicle inspection for and with me on a used car quite some distance away, like when you buy over state lines. Today, we'll reveal the secrets we've learned about spotting hidden problems so you know you should avoid a car even before you get a mechanic involved and you don't end up with a lemon. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our expert car tips. Are you ready to become proficient at doing a used car inspection? As we get rolling, we want to give a shout out to Chris Fix, a popular automotive YouTuber known for his do-it-yourself car repair and maintenance video. We happen to like him better than Scotty Kimmler because his teaching style is similar to ours and he's not waving his hands all over the place. <laughs> and because we're always recommending that people keep their cars for as long as possible, we recommend that you check out Chris Fix if you haven't already. We use a ton of his videos to do our own maintenance and car repairs, and we think you should too. With what we've learned about vehicle inspections today, we are sharing a general approach that professional people like Chris Fix or any experienced mechanic might use when inspecting a used car. And yes, you ladies out there too, I know you can do this because I've done it myself many times. We'll demonstrate as many parts as possible of this inspection. All right, Kevin, let's roll. First up is a visual inspection. Start with a visual inspection of the exterior and interior of the car. Look for any signs of damage, rust, or accidents. Check the body panels, paint, tires, and wheels. Do the tires all match? Are there things like dents or scratches that would indicate an accident or general abuse of the vehicle? Are the headlight lenses clear or are they all fogged up? Do the lines between body panels look even and consistent? Or are they pushed together at some points indicating a possible previous accident? Always take a look under the hood. Pop the hood and inspect the engine compartment. Look for any signs of leaks, corrosion, or damaged components. Is there engine oil or other liquid sitting on top the motor? Check the fluid levels, engine oil, transmission fluid, coolant, brake fluid, power steering fluid, and ensure that they are at safe operating levels. It's not like you have to be a wizard on this. The lines are right on the dipsticks or the containers holding the fluid. Pretty simple to follow. Next, check for leaks. Examine the ground under the vehicle for any fluid leaks, spots of oil, puddles of coolant. Common areas to check include under the engine, under the transmission, and under the rear differential. Do a tire inspection. As Kevin already stated, the tires matter. Inspect the tires for overall wear and uneven tread wear, which can indicate alignment or suspension issues. Take a look at the sidewalls to make sure they aren't badly checkered from age. Check the tire pressure as well. A simple tire gauge like the one shown here is easy to get. How much pressure should be in the tires is indicated right on the sidewalls. I also learned a great trick from one of our favorite mechanics, Ruben Byman from Longview Auto and Tire when we lived there. Ruben explained to me that it's easy to tell how old tires are. Every tire manufacturer has what's known as a TIN or a tire identification number. Here's how it works. The first two numbers identify the week, the last two numbers identify the year of manufacture. Thus, a tin ending with 3819 indicates that the tire was made during the 38th week of 2019 and would appear as DOT, a bunch of numbers, 3819 on the sidewall of the tire. Then there's the brake system. Inspect the brake disc or drums, brake pads or shoes, and brake lines. Looking for signs of wear or corrosion. It's pretty easy to observe the disc right through the wheel itself if they are heavily grooved, it definitely indicates that a needed brake replacement job got put off for way too long. Sure. You're going to need some new rotors. If they are rusty instead of shiny, the vehicle hasn't moved recently, and that's bad because cars were meant to be driven. Mm -hmm. Suspension and steering. When on a test drive, check for any unusual noises when turning the steering wheel and listen for clunks or rattles when you're driving over bumps. 
while driving slowly. Make the vehicle rock back and forth using the steering wheel. Inspect the suspension components for wear and tear. There's the electrical system. Test all lights, the headlights, brake lights, turn lights, horn, wipers, power windows, and the stereo. Ensure all electrical systems are functioning correctly. And if you sit down in the driver's seat and turn on the turn signal, it goes ticka, 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 ticka. You definitely have a burned out bulb in the system. For sure. Do an interior inspection. Check the interior for signs of excessive wear or damage. Look for any engine warning lights on the dashboard and always check for pet hair. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, there's a test drive. You always take the car for a test drive. Pay special attention to how it accelerates, how it shifts, if it's an automatic, brakes and handles. Listen for any unusual noises or vibrations. Test the air conditioning and heating systems to make sure they both work, even if you're in the time of year when you may not need one of them. Sure. Check the vehicle's history. You can obtain the vehicle's history report to check for accidents, title issues, or other potential red flags. And then there's always engine diagnostics. If you have access to a digital scanner, like an inexpensive one, plug it into the car's OBD2 port to check for any stored trouble codes or pending issues. Compression test is something that's optional. A compression test can reveal the engine's internal condition. This is more in-depth and typically done by a mechanic if you suspect possible engine problems. And then, of course, there's that professional inspection. If you're not confident in your own ability to inspect the car thoroughly, consider having a professional mechanic perform an inspection. They can provide a more comprehensive assessment. Remember that this is a general guideline and at a minimum prepares you to know what to look for. By using this outline, and we'll have it available for free on our website, thehomeworkguy.com, remember that specific inspections may vary depending on the make, model, and age of the car. Additionally, it's crucial to do your own due diligence online and research the specific car you're interested in to identify any common issues or areas that require extra attention during the inspection. Are there any recalls on the car? These issues tend to be well discussed in various automotive forums. A thorough inspection with your participation can help you make an informed decision when buying a used car and potentially save you from unexpected repair costs down the road. Friends, if you feel you lack the skills to properly inspect a used car that you're considering, watch this video again from start to finish until you feel that you have enough understanding to play a part in the vehicle inspection process. Practice makes perfect. Mm -hmm. You can also go to our website and print off a copy of the suggested car inspection outline like we shared here today. If you'd like our direct help on this or any other car buying challenge that you're experiencing, just join our channel as a member today and get direct help from me or Kevin. We don't want you to get burned and we promise with our help you won't. It's extremely easy to join. Just hit the little join button right below the video and select a package that's right for you. If you have trouble finding how to join, send me a text at 701-441-3399 and I'll text you a join link. The Homework Guy Help Package is available for $24.99, which offers direct email contact with us. You can ask us unlimited questions via email, which is a special members-only email. The next option is Homework Guy Consults. The package is $49.99. You should also know that you can start out at the consults level and then drop back to a lower package after you buy your vehicle if you'd like to continue to support what we do. This is a top level of direct involvement with both Kevin and me, and you'll get direct contact with Kevin's personal cell phone. Don't be surprised if the legend himself calls you to discuss your car buying plans directly. Also, any membership level can be canceled or downgraded at any time, so there's no risk and limited expense to you. I have already posted my personal cell number in the members only section of our community page. And yes, I have been calling many of you. As many members have said, the value of the membership was well worth it with just one phone call. Today's show was an example of some of the high quality content you'll find in our upcoming Car Buyer's Handbook. Be aware that becoming a member is simple. Just hit that join button below the video to sign up. And as Liz said, you can always text her and she'll send you the link. Again, that contact number is 701-441-3399. I also want to remind our regular viewers about all the free content we have on our website and it's getting better all the time. Thehomeworkguy.com. So make sure you take time to give us a visit. We've been busy improving our website and you'll love what you find there. Besides the website, you can also connect with us on other social media sites like Facebook. So go like our page if you haven't already done that. If you've just recently joined the Homework Guy channel as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. And if you're now a member of our channel, we really enjoy working with you. Thank you for putting your trust in us. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth, justice, and transparency in the car business and always will. 
We've we got to go. go. You can't go. All the planets are going to die.